Hi everyone, welcome to my DIY video. Today I'm going to share with you how to replace the conventional hard drive to an SSD and install a Windows 10 into your new SSD drive. So the main reason of uh, upgrading from the conventional hard drive and to a SSD is because the SSD is uh, much more faster both in read and write. The SSD consume less power and the most important thing to me is that it is a uh, shock resistant. Older generation, the hard drive, when it is running, let's say you accidentally drop your laptop or there's a big shock on the laptop, it might permanently damage the hard drive. Right, but uh, this is not a case for SSD. First, you must have an SSD, of course. So this SSD, um, this is a Epacer Panther SSD. This is 120 gigs. So I get it uh, at a low price. And to me, I will just get a 120 gig because I will just install all the necessary application, the Windows, maybe the Microsoft Office and those application you need in the SSD. Meanwhile, if you have a CD room slot in your laptop, the removable CD room, so you can buy this um, hard drive KD. So you can install your hard drive into this KD, the old hard drive. So you replace it with the SSD, you, you still have your old hard drive, you put in your hard drive and replace it with your CD room slot. So you sacrifice your CD room. Uh, and, but you gain external hard drive so you can store all your photos videos in your external hard drive next thing you should do is that you need to create a bootable drive bootable windows 10 setup drive so that after you replace your ssd into your computer you should use the bootable drive to install windows 10 into the ssd so in order to create a bootable windows 10 drive you need to go to the official Microsoft website. So this is the official website. So you download Tools Now. Create Windows 10 installation media, download Tools Now. So I have downloaded, it's in my desktop. Yeah. Let it look for a while. So this is, uh, in this case, create a U installation media, USB flash drive. So use the recommended option. Alright, so it mentioned here your USB drive must be, must be at least 8GB, 8GB. So I recommend you to get an 8GB thumb drive which is totally uh, clear, means that no other file is in it. So you just um, install it and create it by clicking next. I have done it uh, earlier to uh, reduce the time for you guys to wait for it to download because it might take some time due to the size of the download. The download file is quite huge and it needs to uh, make your thumb drive into a bootable Windows 10 setup file. After the creation of your USB drive, your USB drive should show something like this. So it should show something like this. Alright, so the boot EFI source, the setup file. Alright, so it means that uh, it should be a bootable Windows 10 setup thumb drive. The next step is to shut down, remove the adapter plug and remove the battery from your PC uh, from your laptop and remove the hard drive replace it with new SSD drive this procedure differ from laptop to laptop so please uh, search internet to see which uh, what is the procedure or step by step in order to remove your hard drive based on your uh, laptop model number okay I have removed my uh, old hard drive and replaced with my SSD so this is the old hard drive this is the new SSD. So I install it in my computer and uh, ready to install the new Windows 10. For the next step, plug in the bootable Windows 10 setup thumb drive and power on your PC. 
So since the new SSD doesn't have any operating system, your buyer should be able to boot the USB drive to go into the Windows 10 setup. Okay, when it is done loading the Windows 10 setup, so uh, choose the language you prefer. Next, install now. So for this situation, if you don't have the product key, you can just skip this procedure. You just click, I don't have any product key. If you have a Windows 10 product key in your hand, uh, then you can key in the Windows 10 product key. So do not key in the Windows 7 product key in here. It will not work. If you have Windows 7 product key and you want to upgrade from your previous OS, the Windows 7, to Windows 10, you just need to key in after the completed installation of the Windows 10 and booted into the Windows, you can activate. So you just click, do not have product key. Choose the suitable version. So for my version is uh, Windows 10 Pro. Okay, so in this case, uh, since this is a new SSD, I will just um, delete the partition and make new partition. Just click next. It will, it will automatically uh, partition the drive to make it suitable and install the windows into your SSD. So here it might take a moment. So I will just stop it and I will show after it is done. Okay, after it is done, it will show you the, the PC will be restarted uh, for after a few seconds. So, when it restarts, you can just remove the USB bootable drive and it will start to boot into your new Windows 10. So, you just let it run. So, when it's done, it will boot into this um, configuration setup page. So, you just need to select your region. Okay, your keyboard layout. I'll skip this second keyboard layout. So choose do not have internet, just ignore that. So continue with limited setup. So just key in your name for this laptop. So you can set up the password later. So device activity history, you can choose to activate or you can disable it. So I choose no, so you can activate later if you want. So from here, usually I will just turn everything off. If, like I mentioned, if you need, you can uh, activate, turn it on later. All right, it has booted into the Windows 10. So the first thing you need to do is to um, connect to the internet and update your Windows 10 because this is not the latest Windows 10. You need to update it to the latest uh, security patches, uh, uh, update the drivers and etc. etc. So you need to connect to the internet and update, update it. Once you connect to the internet, it will ask you to um, uh, go into another setup. So we'll just skip this for now and uh, do it later. So you just um, click on the Windows log, Windows button, search update, check update, press enter, check for update. I highly recommend you update everything. Try uh, it will restart a few time and update. So make sure that you have all the updates. And when the next time you click on the update, it will show you no new update available. In that case, then only you can proceed to the next step and to set up or install new uh, apps such as uh, Microsoft Office and etc. So from here, you just let it update and it will take a few hours to download and update everything. So I will just uh, skip it and make sure everything is done. I will come back again. So I have updated everything. So let's uh, double check again.
Yes, okay, let's uh, restart. So you can see from here, during a reboot, you can see how fast an SSD can boot in the Windows 10 compared to uh, the hard drive. So just as I finish my uh, telling you this, and you can see it's uh, going into Windows already. So it's quite fast. I think it's about 20 seconds more or less. So let's recheck. Should be up, up to date. Okay, since everything uh, is up to, up to date, so the last thing is to um, do a disk cleanup. So clean up system file because just now we have updated uh, a lot of uh, updates. So there might be some update files stored in the uh, in the C drive. So we can just clear it off. Just take everything. Tick 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 tick. So um, from all the updates, so the biggest file is delivery optimization file. So this is the update file. So let's uh, clear everything. It just it should be just a few seconds because of the SSD, the speed of the SSD. All right, so it's done. So the last thing before you install any app, apps such as uh, Microsoft Office and etc. This um, the caddy. So if your laptop have external, I mean the built-in CD-ROM, which you can remove it. So you can replace the CD-ROM, remove the CD-ROM, buy this hard drive caddy, install your old hard drive, put it in, all right. So and slot into your CD-ROM slot. Remove your CD-ROM and slot into your CD-ROM slot. And you can use this as the second drive to store all your data your video, your photos, your application, maybe your game library. Alright, so it's detected. So this is the previous previous uh, old hard drive. Uh, before I end the video, here's the comparison between the hard drive uh, benchmark using the Crystal Disk Mark, uh, uh, comparing the hard drive and the SSD. So the hard drive uh, read is 79.7 uh, .7 megabyte per second and the write is 71.5 megabyte per second. But if you see the SSD, this is a huge difference comparing to the uh, conventional hard drive, which uh, the read is 563.4 and write is 477.5. All right, you can see this is the hard drive, this is the SSD. So it's a huge difference. So the first upgrade I would recommend is just replacing the hard drive with SSD drive and you can feel the difference. If you still need uh, the PC to perform more, maybe you can install more RAM and etc. But the first recommendation I would suggest is to replace your old hard drive to the SSD. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you can like, share and do remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time.